Let's go. Thank you for coming out tonight. How many of you have a Facebook, Pinterest, MySpace, or some sort of social media account? Well, I find it funny, don't you, that we call it social media because it's really not social. You're standing, or you're sitting in front of a computer, um, usually by yourself, and you're just looking at a screen. Yet we still call it social media, and social is more when you're interacting with people and spending time with people. But how many of us have a Facebook? Like we saw, quite a few of us do. And I definitely have one myself. How many of you check your Facebook once a day, twice a day, maybe three times a day? I know that I've checked mine multiple times a day before. And I have found that I am addicted to finding notifications. Every time I get on and I have a friend request or someone commented on something of mine, I find it really exhilarating. You're like, oh, oh look, I have five comments or I had 15 likes on this picture. And I, I find that I get addicted to this. And I found that I often focus just a lot on my phone or a lot on my computer, more so than the people around me. Have you ever felt like this? Where you're trying so hard to get something done Maybe schoolwork, or maybe you're trying to get some paperwork done, do your bills, but you just keep feeling like, oh, I should just check Facebook really quick, or I want to up to. I'm just going to hop on Facebook real quick. It just keeps dragging you back in, it seems like. Maybe some of you have felt like this. <laughs> You'll get on for five minutes, and before you know it, you've been on for an hour. That's a whole hour of your day. Or you might feel like this. You're walking around, maybe you're standing in the line at the grocery store and you're just pull out your phone. Just because, why talk to the people next to you when I can look at my phone and talk to people over texted writing and, and writing on people's walls? Did you know that 39% of women actually admit to being addicted to Facebook? They call themselves Facebook addicts. 51% of Facebook users log in multiple times a day. So not just once, but more than once, two, three, four times a day. Not only that, but 22% of teenagers log in more than 10 times a day. That is a very large number. Even if you're only getting on for five, 10 minutes at a time, that's still 50 to 100 minutes when you log in 10 times a day. All of this adds up to 15.33 hours a month. That is over half of a 24-hour day that we're spending on Facebook. That is probably the amount of hours you spend awake in one day. So take your 31-day calendar for the month and just cross off the 31st day. It's gone. It has been dedicated to Facebook because you spent 15.33 hours that month on Facebook. So this is what I'm leading to. Facebook can be addicting, just like alcohol or cigarettes or pills, all of these substances that we call addicting, that we label as bad, and they're just as addicting as social media. I realized that Facebook wasn't making me happy. I have an experience that I'd like to share. I would often get on Facebook and see friends of mine who maybe we had graduated with that were buying houses. And I'd think to myself, why aren't we buying a house? Why can't we afford a house yet? Or I'd see our friends starting their families, and I'd think, why don't we have kids yet? Why am I not there yet? It just wasn't making me happy. Facebook has been linked to depression. They've done studies on it, and they have actually, they have some um, Facebook addiction recovery programs and uh, depression help. They have psychology just for Facebook. They did a study about Facebook where they had participants log in and they tracked their emotions and how they felt before and after getting on Facebook. And they found that the amount of Facebook time that users spent was linked to their symptoms of depression. The more time spent on Facebook, their higher rates of depression. They also showed signs of aggressiveness, 
of antisocial behaviors, and other psychological disorders. So Facebook is causing all of these feelings inside of us. Jealousy, anxiety, maybe we feel worth less than other people who are doing so much more and we see it all the time because it's right there in front of our face constantly, every time we log into our computer. So what did I do about it? There's no sense in telling you the depression and the sadness it was causing in my life every time I saw all of the achievements everyone else got without telling you what I did about it. So I did a 30-day challenge. Now this was something that I saw on a TED Talk by Matt Cutts, and he talked about doing something different for 30 days. He said, it may be hard to change something permanently, but you can do anything for 30 days. So I decided I was going to get off Facebook for 30 days. And I found out that I could get ahead. I was able to get our apartment packed up a month before we were scheduled to move out. I thought that was pretty impressive. I also found that I had time to make things that I didn't think I had time for. No, I didn't make the beautiful children in the picture but I did make the cute little Be Mine sign for my friend for Valentine's Day. All because I wasn't wasting my time on Facebook. Now it's your turn to decide. How do you want to spend your time? Thinking about your life? Or about everyone else's? Making real friends? Interacting? Talking? Having fun? Or just adding them? with a click of a button, and never really talking to them. Do you want to spend your time having a life, or watching everyone else's, just watching what they're doing on a screen? Could you leave Facebook for 30 days? I dare you. Thanks for watching.